prepare for deployment, it's important that you understand the Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act, or USERA. This federal statute generally protects your employment and reemployment rights while performing military service. Today, we're going to cover some of the protections USERA provides, as well as the responsibilities USERA requires of both you and your civilian employer. We'll also touch on the services provided by Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve, or ESGR. ESGR is a Department of Defense program specifically chartered to improve or bridge the communications gap between civilian employers and their military employees in an effort to build better relationships across the reserve components. Regardless of where you are in the deployment cycle, an employer should not deny you re-employment, retention, or any other benefits of employment on the basis of your obligation or application for obligation for service in the uniformed services. USERA protects service members from discrimination in the workplace based on their military service or affiliation. In addition, USERA requires employers to put individuals back to work in their civilian jobs after performing military service. Service members must, of course, meet the USERA requirements for re-employment. For example, they must provide advance notice of their military service. The service member must also not have been away on military duty for more than five years. After an absence for military duty, the service member must return to work in a timely manner as defined by USERA. Finally, the service member must not have been separated from the military with a disqualifying discharge or a discharge under other than honorable conditions. Under USERA, employers are required to restore the service member to the same level of seniority, status, and pay ordinarily attained if they were not called up for military service. The USERA law applies to voluntary as well as involuntary military service. As mentioned before, you are required to give written or verbal notice to your civilian employer prior to leaving your job for military training. You should try to provide your civilian employer with at least 30 days notice prior to your departure. If possible, present a copy of your orders to your supervisor and your human resources department. As a matter of policy, the military departments strongly recommend commanders and service members provide upon request verification of uniform service absence to civilian employers regardless of the duration of service. However, your employer may not delay or attempt to defeat their legal responsibilities under USERA by demanding documentation that does not exist or is not then readily available. Keep in mind that if the civilian employer is providing a benefit above what the USERA requires, they may need that documentation for authorization and record purposes to continue that benefit. Your employer is required by law to allow you to take a military leave of absence. Before your departure, you should determine if you are going to continue or suspend any employer-sponsored health care plans. Take some time to discuss your options with your Human Resources Department and a TRICARE representative to determine your best course of action. Be sure to resolve any pay and compensation issues prior to your military leave and share your projected return to work date with your employer. Keep in mind that employers can be particularly inconvenienced by the timing of your military duty. If necessary, have your employer contact your military commander to assist with any questions or concerns. If the military mission permits, your commander may be able to reschedule your military duty or assign someone else to perform it. Make every effort to work with your employer to make your call to active duty as smooth as possible. Establishing good working relationships with your civilian employer will not only benefit you when you return to work, but other reserve component members and veterans who work for or apply for jobs with your organization. For more information on your reemployment rights, contact an ESGR ombudsman at 800-336-4590, option 1, or visit www.esgr.mil. ESGR also offers other services designed to build and maintain positive work environments for reserve component members. One of its most successful efforts is the Employer Awards Program. Service members and their families can recognize employers for employment policies and practices that go above and beyond USERA requirements by nominating them for awards. Depending on the degree of support, the level of recognition may rise to the Secretary of Defense Employer Support Freedom Award. To find out more about ESGR's award program or to nominate your employer,
go to www.esgr.mil slash employer awards. And for more information about ESGR's other core missions and our nationwide support network, go to www.esgr.mil or find us on social media via keyword search ESGR.